Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi with the 11 a.m. update on Tropical Storm Elsa. Still moving off to the north at 14 miles per hour, just about to make landfall along the northern Gulf Coast in Taylor County, Florida. Still with maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour as it starts to move inland along the Gulf Coast. And now as it makes its way through South Georgia, there have been a couple of changes to the forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. This is what we were kind of keeping an eye on all morning long. How is this track going to change throughout the day? Is it going to take that shift to the left and to the west? And it did. It does look like the National Hurricane Center's track does have the center of this system moving through our southeastern counties. You can see that cone even extending further into parts of Lawrence County, now including all of Lawrence County. So it is looking more likely that this center of circulation is going to pass through our extreme southeasternmost counties. So we're talking Telfair, Wheeler, Montgomery County as a tropical storm. Now, no tropical storm warnings are in effect for our area. That is all along the coast. And in South Georgia and along the Georgia coastline is where the greatest impact from Elsa is going to be felt as they are going to be on the right side of the system where you typically get that severe weather threat. Also more of that flooding threat here at home. As we go through the afternoon today, we will have that chance for on and off heavier downpours within those outer convective rain bands could have some very gusty wind in that and that is going to be the greatest impact for most of our area. It's going to come from those outer rain bands of Elsa as the storm continues to move inland. They will carry very gusty wind potentially also some very heavy tropical downpours and notice five o'clock. So that's the time a lot of us will be headed home. Just be sure you're driving extra carefully as you make your way home today from work. Elsa will start to inch closer and you can see what you're looking at is the high resolution model. It did take that jog slightly to the west as of the latest model run bringing some heavier rain. Also that center of circulation through our southeastern most counties. Still though the greater rainfall, the greater flooding threat, the greater severe threat. Again, still going to stay out towards the coast, out towards Savannah. As the storm passes by, as Elsa passes by, most of us are going to stay dry. Again, all eyes as we head into the late evening, potentially into the overnight hours, will be on our southeasternmost counties. Our two greatest threats today are, of course, going to be wind and rain, which naturally comes with tropical systems. As we head through the afternoon today, we'll have that potential for some gusty wind within those outer rain bands. Maybe in the stronger storms could have gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour. And as we head towards 7 o'clock tonight, notice here comes that center of circulation late this evening after sunset where parts of our southern counties could gust upwards of 50 miles per hour or so. So tropical storm force wind gusts are possible in our extreme southeastern most counties. Again, Telfair, Wheeler, Montgomery, maybe even Trutland County as we head through the late evening and into the early overnight hours. Rainfall totals, we are looking at the potential for maybe some localized flooding, especially when you add these kind of numbers on top of all the rain we received last night. You add that with some very gusty wind. There will be the potential for trees to down, especially again southeasternmost counties. You are going to see the greatest impact from this, but pockets of locally heavy rainfall will be possible within those outer rain bands as they make their way through. So to put it all together, these are the potential impacts. Greatest impact going to be this afternoon as we start to get those outer rain bands through the late evening tonight. 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts will be possible with those isolated higher gusts, maybe even upwards of 50 miles per hour in some of our southeasternmost counties, maybe upwards of 40 miles per hour in those outer rain bands. And we're looking at about a tenth of an inch to about half an inch of rain possible and upwards of two inches in our southeasternmost counties, maybe even two and a half inches of rain in our southeasternmost counties. We will continue to keep you updated on Elsa as we continue to get information from the National Hurricane Center and see how it progresses as it makes its way inland. You can get all those updates on air and online at 13WMAZ.com.